Well, good morning, friends, and it's good to be with you once again. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 12 says, A land for which the Lord your God cares, the eyes of God are always on it, from the beginning of the year to the very end. This year, God will take care of us. Like a good parent taking care of a beloved child, God will watch over us and pay attention to us. And he'll do it from the beginning of the year to the very end. Nobody else can make this promise to us and keep it. Most people will make time for us if they're not too busy with other things that have a higher priority in their lives than us. And even the best earthly parents can't give their full attention every single moment of the day. They might have to go to work, go shopping, have household jobs to do or other children to look after. But God, with his infinite power, can keep a constant watch over each and every one of us. But we have a part to play as well. The next few verses from Deuteronomy say that if you earnestly obey my commandments, which I command you today, to love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart and soul, I will give you the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine and your oil. And I will send grass in your fields for your livestock, that you may eat and be filled. In other words, if we do what God asks and live his way, we can be confident that he'll meet all our needs, fill us with his peace and joy, bless us and help us be successful in the things that we do for his kingdom. So this year, let's walk with God and honour him in everything that we do and with everything that we have. So why don't you spend a little bit of quiet time thinking about any times last year when you drifted away from God and then spend some time in prayer asking God to help you to stay close to him and try to honour him in everything you do this year. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. God our Father, in love you sent your Son that the world might have life. Lead us to seek him among the outcast and to find him in those in need. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Let's finish with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>